It's a game, uh, it's an underwater deep sea game, um, and I am under, I'm scared of the underwater deep sea. Uh, very much so. Like, I've had one panic attack in my life, and it was when I was snorkeling. Um, and so, I've been getting over my fear of this by playing scary deep sea game. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's always fun. Uh, the story so far is we have crash landed on this, um, alien world, um, uh, because we were shot down by this a alien device in the atmosphere. Uh, we sent out a distress call. That, uh, the distress, uh, the sunbeam, which is the, um, ship, um, uh, comes in and then it gets shot down too. Uh, we go to the alien device that keeps shooting down all these ships and they're like, Hey, we're, this planet's on quarantine. You can't disable this because you are also infected with whatever virus we're trying to keep out. And we're like, shit. So now we need to figure out what the fuck this virus is. And then also, uh, need to figure out, um, how the hell we, uh, can get saved. And so the, the way we do that is go deeper. Regal, uh, Gorvis, thanks for the five. The way we do that is go deeper and deeper. We have gone deeper. We have gone. As you can probably see. Uh, we have found this place, which is 889 meters below the ocean. Um, which is kind of nuts. And so I think what we're going to do is make a temporary base down here. Flatnod, thanks for the 10. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, this is really really wild <laughs> uh, i also get constantly scared of this game so or i am constantly scared of this game so sometimes i might be quiet and that's because i'm quite literally terrified but this place seems to be safe a giant cove tree um so what we're gonna do is chat should we build a base right here you think like right here or should we go like off there? Like right, right, probably right here, right? Silver, yeah, lead. Yeah, it seems it seems uh, that this is gonna be a good spot. A multi-purpose room we need six titanium for though. I don't know if we have that. A scanner room we need five titanium. A tea compartment we need three. We don't have a lot of titanium, chat. That's the issue. I gotta stay at this height, too. Oh, that was almost a minus one. That's crazy. What is happening? Warning. Maximum depth reached. Oopsies. Hull damage imminent. Yeah. Crazy. And then there's some thermal vents over this way. You're saying we should probably build like over here? No, I, it, it is way too hot over this way. Game is so grindy. It's fun though. Be like over here then. Yeah, like over here. Cause that's a thermal vent, but it's not too hot. Do you think I can find like six titanium around here? I don't know. Scared of the ocean, but you rode for sport. I'm scared of the deep ocean. A little different. <laughs> um, I don't know, dude. We can come back later. I think we come back later. What the fuck is that sound? What is that sound, dude? All right, yeah, let's make like a beacon or something. Oh, I can't. Cause I don't have a fabricator. Um. <laughs> uh, all right. 
We'll come back, though. We'll come back, chat. No fabricator? Alright, yeah. So we gotta head over... This is back to where... Oh, God. Where is this again? We've already seen this rib cage. And we came from there. Short Owl, thanks for the five. I think it was... We came from... Here. We came from here. Okay, this is... We... Jesus. We need to get back to where our Cyclops is. Which is this way. Oh, jeez. Dude, scary game is scary. What can I say? Jesus Christ. Anyways, if you guys are enjoying... Uh, oh, uh, we might... Um... All right, every now and then I have to answer DMs for business stuff. Because I'm trying to... Uh, fill the subathon with like as much content as possible so you guys just like i know you guys like aren't aren't gonna listen. you guys are gonna be like, oh we're not bored or whatever but like i want to be like i want to make this like the like action-packed like insane there's always something happening uh during the subathon right so i need to make sure that like i'm, I'm working with other streamers and everything right now to, to do it as, as much as possible um Uh, so that's why I have to like pause every now and then and then answer a DM. That's like some of these, some of them are like time sensitive, and that's why. Hopefully that kind of like makes sense, you know. Roll back in G. Thanks for the five. Nice roll. Damn, what is with all of the high rolls today? What the fuck? Jesus Christ, chat. By the way, you're still just chatting? I don't think I am. I think I'm in Subnautica. I think you got a refresh. Thanks, though, for the help. Yeah, here it is. Look, there's our sub... There's our, uh, submersible. Our Cyclops. Blue Jay, thanks for the 10. Nice. And Lizzlefoes, thanks for the five gifted. Thank you guys so much for the subs. Appreciate that a lot. All right, uh, let's go back. Engine powering up. Bad warper guy. Uh, and then we we should read uh we should read uh the whatchamacallit. Some lore. Are you scared? I am very scared of this game, but you know what? I have braved a lot so far, and um, we're we're making some substantial. I feel like I had like a breakthrough in my mind of like, yeah, wait, we can do this. Like, we got this. So, um, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just kind of like a like, like a really big character building moment, you know? Um, when we did the prawn suit uh, last time, it was really really cool. So, let's go back, let's uh, do some more progression stuff, and then uh, go back down. Kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, this is a... Uh, what do you guys think of the game so far? I'm, I'm curious. I mean, I personally really, really like... Why is the ghosty that close? Why is the ghosty right there? It's not supposed to be right there. Why is it right there? It was so high up. It's right there. Jesus, dude. Actually crazy. It's coming for that ass. You know it. It's America's ass. Have you been sleeping? Yeah, I've been sleeping, chat. 
Uh, if I recall, you start hallucinating at uh, 72 hours. I've been sleeping. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Uh, but yeah, this is day five of uh, um, uh, the, the subathon. That's uh, day five of the subathon. I've been having a lot of fun. And, like, it's it's something... Something's really cool about the subathon that we're doing is that, like, I just feel more, like, free as a content creator, you know? To kind of just entertain with, like, what I want in, like, ways I want. Rather than be like, okay, I only have, like... Rather than be like, I have four hours, five hours to make content. It's like, I can really just continuously make content throughout the day um and it seems like you guys really enjoy it too and you're having a lot of fun with it which makes me have a lot of fun you know uh we are maintaining three hours though um what was it yesterday we got up to yesterday we started with with two hours and then we got up to i think seven before i went to bed then we dropped back down to three hours again Something like that. 62%. Oh, shit! Oh, that was close. Cody, thanks for the 10 gifted. What's your upper limit? We don't have a limit. We have zero limit. Yo, Zax with the 69 gifted and a high roll. Holy shit! Chat, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I think we gotta get a resounding nice for that. Thank you so much for the 69 gifted, Zax. All right, we'll go down here. And then power down. Powering down. Oh, uh, are my lights on? Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then uh, let's go eat some. Actually, we have we have a full inventory. Let's not eat. What was the roll on that? It was sixty nine. I think I got forty six minutes for sixty nine, which is really good. All systems online. I'm gonna swap these out. Welcome aboard, Captain. Suit. Have you upgraded the Cyclops yet? I have not, no. Uh, but we have some new materials now. Um, specifically from the Seamoth. So this is my base, chat. This is my base. And we have a lot to do. We have a lot that we can do now, too. Um, specifically, I think we want to go exploring, exploring a lot. Life pod two, we've already done. Where was the other life pod? Proposed to Gossy Habitat. I think we've already discovered too. The Aurora Rendezvous Point. We probably need to go to. Um, but I think you guys really want to do some lore. Dueling Crows, thanks for the five gifties. All right, um, do we have more space? We do, okay. I'll put the uranium stuff in here. Um, and the nickel as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. And then I'll take this, do that. And then I have um, this locker for this. And then the creature egg goes in here. See, I have some organization, guys. I have some organization. Nice. Uh, I didn't mean to eat that. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't mean. I didn't. That. That was. That was not. I. That. That was a mistake. <laughs> All right. Here we go. One, two, three. Vital signs. One. Stabilizing. Two, three. And then we want to cut one, two. Marble melon superiority. By the way, marble melons are the best resource. Uh, very clearly. Um, and if you don't think that, then uh, I don't like you. 
how it works. Uh, all right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, thanks for the subs, guys. Oh, and then we have a radio message. Oh, yeah, no, that, no, that's cool, man. No, I, I totally agree with that. Uh, that's a cool sentiment you have. Um, I don't know if I agree with that, but, uh, yeah. Uh, understandable. <laughs> how long has he been streaming? Maybe we should put in the title how long I've been streaming for. Um, day four, one sub equals random time. Uh, the title's getting long. I don't know. The answer's 96 hours. Uh, okay, cool. We have, oh, storage, right. We have more storage stuff. Forgot about that. Yeah, then we'll keep this in there. In case. Yeah, it's exclamation duration, uh, I think it is. So. There we go. Alright, and then I want to do... Yeah, I want to put the uranium in here. And then the nickel. We have a lot of nickel. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 nickel. We went out to get uh, 10. We actually ended up getting 11, so that's pretty good. I'll take that, chat. Let's go. And we have uh, five ion cubes. I don't know what they're used for except for making purple tablets, but nice. Um, let's see. When's power hour? We don't do power hours on this. We do yes or no yes. Where you can earn it, but uh, I don't power hour it, you know? Because then, uh, then people will hold their subs. Like, nah. Nah. Uh, do we have any, we have a comp, we can make a compass. Oh, we already did. Purple tablet, we still don't have that. Um, what's our, what's locked by progression right now? What do we need to do? Mods. Mods. Okay. Modification stations for exosuit. Depth. Um, we need two lithium, three kyanite. Okay. Um, Seamoth upgrade. We already have those. Cyclops, the depth we can't get. Um, so that means we need to go to our Cyclops and see what we can get here. Or vehicle mods like this. Torpedoes, prawn suit upgrades, modules. The depth module for the prawn suit. Plasteel, three nickel, and two ruby. Um, jet, uh, oh, we can do the jet upgrade now. Um, yeah. And then a torpedo arm. So we have enough. Seamoth. Um, we have the torpedo, perimeter defense, solar charger. Yeah. Okay. So, chat, I need to... We only have 11 nickel, which is not much. So we need to make sure that we can... Like, what we have and what we've gotten is, like... Like, whatever nickel we put towards it is important right so we can build the depth suit for the prawn and the jump uh jet upgrade um yeah which would be five nickel and then let me go to the um jesus christ let me go to the uh cyclops real quick and see the uh, upgrades for that you know Welcome up. Uh, okay, so I need to... I want to upgrade you. Upgrade Fabricator for the Cyclops. Depth module, we can't. The engine efficiency, we already have. Um, we docking repair, fire suppression. Equal to. Okay, so we actually really just don't have any use for these stuff. Like, the Cyclops... Like, sorry. The prawn depth is what we have right now. Like, what we can build. Um... I can't make Cyclops depth because we don't know how to build it. So. We need to explore more. I think. Yeah, we just don't have it, you know? We need to discover more blueprints. And I think the way to do that 
is going to uh, Life Pod 13 is one of them. Um, and then the Aurora Rendezvous Point. So we've already been to the proposed habitat um, a while ago. Like we've been there. But let's let's do some lore um, specifically because you guys have wanted it. This life warn, uh, the self warp and quarantine enforcer unit, which is the warper. Um, this life form shows signs of heavy genetic modification and extensive mechanical grafting. Its digestive and pulmonary systems are replaced by onboard battery, receiving energy directed from the main grid. Miniaturized phase technology has been implanted beneath the skin and triggered by the central nervous system, allowing the construct to teleport at will. Uh, the brain and central nervous system have been digitally augmented. Um, uh, assessment programmable hunter killer avoid. Yikes. And these are warper parts. They are varying states of augmentation. Uh, they were built, maintained, and deployed by aliens that designed this facility. So warpers are manufactured. So this is the terminal that we uh, we had. Um, Leviathan detected at facility perimeter, closing at high speed. Exterior uh, anchor cable impacted with massive force. Um, exterior anchor system buckling, facility shrinking, collision with seafloor. So a, le a Leviathan hit the alien facility. Breach is detected in containment unit 7, Leviathan eggs. Immediate specimen destruction protocol initiated. One specimen unaccounted for. Infected, a warning infected individuals may not leave the planet. Planetary quarantine protocol initiated. So what happened, it looks like, is that at the facility, something, some Leviathan hatched or, or got out somehow. Um, and so, yeah, for Leviathan eggs, some something hatched and broke the facility which then put the planet into quarantine. Oh. Uh, this terminal contains the extensive data regarding the bacterial contagion known, uh, identified as Kara. First encountered during routine network expansion on outer worlds. Pandemic de uh, development. Network error resulted in routine quarantine produced failure. Procedure failure. Contagion was uploaded to and spread quickly through the core worlds. Confirmed deaths, 143 billion individuals. Wow. And we are currently infected. Um, attaches uh, to healthy living cells and mutates the best the basic genetic structure. Stage 1, gradual immune system failure. Stage 2, green skin liaisons and flu-like symptoms. That's what we have. Uh, stage 3, unpredictable alterations to biological structure. Stage 4, complete shutdown of executive function. Emergency steps taken. Core, world, uh, core worlds quarantined. Bacterial samples distributed to isolated disease research facilities for vaccine development. Uh, which happened here. Okay, so it seems like they were um, researching Kara here, and then somehow a Leviathan got it and broke out and then spread to the rest of the world, so they had to lock down quarantine. Um, yeah, a number of entries have been translated for the organisms previously contained. This entry, uh, the small herbivore gamma, uh, the common peeper, <laughs> shows no immunity to infection. Uh, death commonly occurs within four days. Um, shows advanced learning behaviors, subcapacity to transmit enzymes to other specimens. Uh, Leviathan embryos, adult specimen too large to study in containment. Egg specimens acquired from nesting site embryos show no signs of immunity. Um, death commonly occurs within three weeks. Um, large carnivore, uh, large carnivore theta offsite lab established to study ruins shows some potential for immunity to infection, but physical remains so far proved insufficient for full reconstruction. And then unidentified Leviathan. This Leviathan species has been assigned designator C emperor bone samples from emperor specimens indicate some potential for Kara immunity. Single specimen captured for study at purpose-built containment facility constructed a volcanic region at depth 1.4 kilometers. Which we need to go to. 
Uh, while it's unlikely that the Emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to acquire further data there on the alien's attempt to develop a vaccine. Cool. Okay. Um, let's see. Blueprints. Um, Neptune escape rocket. Um, Ron suit. Mark three. We already did. Uh, we already have all this power stuff. These are just like, you know, what we have. Um, advanced theories. Okay. These are our advanced theories. Um, bacterial infection report. You've been infected with a previously unknown waterborne bacterium. It's currently multiplying in your bloodstream. Estimated incubation time, two weeks. Your immune system is currently combating the infection at low efficacy. You may already be experiencing flu-like symptoms and skin irritation. This, these will likely be exaggerated as the bacterium takes hold. Your immediate priority should be uh, abatement and eradication of the infection. Recommended steps. Salvage further alien, alien research data on passport vaccine. Investigate the mechanisms which have enabled the indigenous ecosystem to inhibit the symptoms of the infection. So we are infected from uh, this waterborne bacteria. Um, and hopefully we can either salvage some research data on it or figure out what happened. <laughs> Ray specimens on uh, 4546B, which is the uh, planet that we're on. Um, different species of rays. Uh, each adopted to different environments. These species are 99% genetically identical to those encountered on the planet today, suggesting that the rays in particular have undergone little evolutionary mutation in the past millennium. Ghost rays, jelly rays, crimson rays, and rabbit rays likely all share a common evolutionary ancestor. The alpha ray uh, would have evolved deep in the ocean trenches, quickly growing in line with the available food supplies. It would have most resembled the ghost ray in size... Uh, oh, ghost ray, that's what it's called. In size of appearance, with translucent skin for camouflage and forward-mounted eyes for hunting. Uh, a fast and fearsome stalker of small creatures in the dark. Oh, so... So, Ghosty... Is... Small... Compared to whatever this is. <laughs> okay. Um... While some rays have stayed within the limits of the cave systems where they first evolved, others are relatively more... Rec uh, are relatively... More recent adaptions to new environments likely the result of overpopulation. All the rays have given up predation in favor of uh, herbivorous scavenging and use poisonous flesh to protect themselves. Sea dragon egg. This large egg, uh, this large, large egg is held in a hermetically sealed environment and has been chemically sterilized. Without the means uh, at the facility to house a fully grown sea dragon specimen, it is possible the aliens sought to study instead uh, the egg laying and incubation process. To what end is unclear. Interesting. A sea dragon egg. That's crazy. Um, let's see. Geological data, shale outcrops. Yeah. Um, what else? These are time capsules, which we have not... Apparently, you guys have uh, told me not to read these, so we will not. Um, uh, I'm trying to find... Wasn't there like a theories kind of thing? Oh, codes and clues. Right, yeah, yeah, for alien facility locations. So we've already gone to the uh, disease research facility, um, but we haven't gone to the thermal power or any of the sanctuaries. Or these, you know? Um, yeah. So, indigenous life forms, it's flora, and then land, right? No, 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 flora, sea, sorry. The giant cove tree. A vast tree encountered in the deep cove, and the only one of its kind encountered on the planet. This tree is surrounded by rays grazing on its pink outer leaves. Bark, hardy fast, uh, comes down to the tree. Ghost leviathan eggs. The tree's branches are wrapped around a number of maturing eggs belonging to a species design designated as ghost leviathan. Uh, this tree appears to be an ancient nesting ground. The eggs were laid when the tree was young, and now the branches protect and grow them as they await the right conditions to hatch. Oh, okay. So this is a <laughs> ghosty breeding area. Nice. Love that. 
That's just amazing. Cool, 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 cool. Now that's that's good to know. Uh, Reaper Leviathan. We've already done this. The reef back in Sea Charter, right? Um, yeah, chat. In case you didn't know, I did scan the Reaper Leviathan. I scanned it. And right where I was going to build my bait, yeah. Um, okay. I mean, I'll still build there. Um, it seems fine. These are the Degasi. Should I read the Degasi logs? All of them? We have a lot. I really liked them. Okay. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out of the window, and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life's toxic. Learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, Shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me, more than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed. This is really cool. This is this is like how you figure later, out to get stalker teeth. Her pack loaded down That's kind of cool. Teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. Jesus. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. Jesus. All that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, <sighs> I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. Visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. This is Bart Torgals. Paul is probably the, uh, 
father. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators, fresh food. No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. Fuck. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like. Let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bart, Torgo has disembarked the habitat. Jeez. Dude, Paul. Holy no shit. Coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own Got one already. We take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep. Lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. So they're going deeper now. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, I'll do that later. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. It's like an ion cube, Maybe. probably, that they're picking up. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying Interesting. Here. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, it's a purple tablet, right? A hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. Interesting. We're already 200 meters. 200 meters, LML. LMAO. Go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. 
Wow. All right. So this is uh, voice log number six. They're going deeper, probably to like an alien facility or something. Uh, we have, I, I personally, I, I think there's probably more voice logs. Um, holy shit. Cause there's something on the scanner that they're, they're probably finding. Yeah, I'll do that later. Don't worry. Um, Paul Torgel requested cross-referencing of local environmental scans. Um, large subterranean cavern, uh, with multiple entrances. Um, site seven has been located. All right. Um, wait, is this, is this where, um, yeah, yeah. This is where, um, they wanted to build the habitat. Um, yeah. My structural average uh, safety rating CB site seven has been selected, and this is where we found um, the actual log. Okay. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son Bart and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. Chat, I'll drink later. All right. Imagine she's Don't worry. A week of her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months, or even years. Sick. All right, we'll watch that one in a sec. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, next one. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says... Wow, otherwise. he is not happy that she's leading. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope... 80 years I old? 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever not that the Gazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, They'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> and then you guys died. All right. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting how that played out, huh? Um, wow. Wow. Well, uh, that's the lore so far. Uh, there's probably more around. Um, uh, there's probably, there's probably a ton more. Um, and uh, I'm excited to hear about it. Did I eat that yet? I did. Okay. Um, the lore is really cool. I'll, I'll probably have to watch like a lore video afterwards on like everything that's gone on. Because um, it seems, I mean, it seems awesome, like awesome already. But um, I feel like I might have missed like one or two things. 
us specifically. All right. Let's, uh... I think we gotta go exploring more. Um, I'll be real with you guys. Um, I think we gotta go exploring more. Uh, just because we, we don't have, like... Um... A ton of resources with us. I mean, we like we can build some things. Oops, he's wrong place. We can build some things and all that, but like the issue that we're having right now is that we don't have like. I don't know how, how do I put it? Like we don't have a lot of blueprints, and we're limited by the amount of blueprints that we have. Um, and yeah. Okay, so let's go explore the Aurora Rendezvous Point. I think it is. Should we do the... We've already done the, the Gossy Habitat. I don't know why that's still showing. Um, so we can go to the Aurora Rendezvous Point or the... Alright, where was the other one? Is that it? I might, that might have been it, actually. Yeah. Or Life Pod 13. Which one do we do? Aurora Rendezvous or Life Pod 13? Oh, that's a new habitat? Oh, okay. Thirteen. A lot of you guys say thirteen. Let's go to thirteen. Engine powering up. I mean we'll probably we probably have enough power and everything for both, I'll be real, so. It's not that far away anyways. Now, if we are correct, there should be a big baddie over this way, the left of us. Uh, he's a little bit farther that way, so I don't know if we'll see him. It's life pod two, life pod 13 is this way. Awesome. Pretty. I mean, it's it's a gorgeous, it's a gorgeous game, pretty game. I'm. I actually really like the lore in it, too. Shit. <laughs> um, and I'll be real with you guys. Chat. Having the Cyclops is, like, one of the best things that... Having the Cyclops is one of the best things uh, we could have made. It is nice, dude. It is nice. It's, it's like an actual game changer. I'm so much less scared of the ocean now, you know? <laughs> I wish they gave you the Cyclops early on. I got really close to the end. I feel like we're pretty still early on, you know? Like, it seems like we're really early on. I could be mistaken with that, but it feels like we're really still early on. Did I, did I miss that? Did I missed the life pod. Oh, it's right there. Sick. Yeah, here it is. Uh, Emissary's voice log. New PDA data. Um, anything? Anything around here? That's worth it. Anything worth my time? Uh, lithium, I guess. <laughs> um, Chad, is that it? I'll like allow you guys to like, you know, tell me. Um, is that it? You know, we, we good? <laughs> um, PDA, which is Aurora Survivors, this one. Me. 
efforts are approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one on and off and on again. Impact imminent. Life is a game which the universe plays with itself. I am done playing with this bundle of flesh. Holy shit. We can go inside here. What a way to go out, dude. What a way to go out. Reach your egg. Cool. This is cool. A little claustrophobic, but you know, this is cool. A little claustrophobia for the, you know, didn't hurt anyone. That's a lie. That leads me to believe there might be something in here. Like in the tree. A lot of eggs, I guess. You are currently inside a long calcified root system. Evidence suggests it was eaten away by other life forms over many centuries to form these natural caves. Okay. That's cool. This is very creepy, dude. Why do they have to make these caves so small? Um, I did pass uh, a big part of it up, so let me go get some O2 and then uh, get back. The claustrophobe is killing me. Same, though. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, but I think it's worth it. I don't know if we found anything here that's, like, worthwhile. Some creature eggs, I guess. I don't know if that's worthwhile, but we'll see if it is. Oh, uh, lithium. We don't have much lithium, so that's kind of good. Kind of going. Uh, Chad, did I get the important things from here? More lithium. A lot of lithium here. Yeah, okay, so the egg is important somewhere. Okay. I don't think you found it. Um, all right, Shane, can you tell me what I missed? There's a shipwreck in this area. All right, it's getting dark. Let me go. Let me let me go to the sleep real quick. Do I need the shipwreck though? I don't think I do. Um, unless I like really need the shipwreck for the blueprints. 
Um, do I? Now the big wrecks have the best blueprints. Okay. Okay. Which is probably exactly what we need. All systems online. Shipwreck in the area. I mean, we do need to find blueprints, you know, that's, that's, that's the main thing. Trying, uh, trying to just find them like this. Hey, I think I found a I think I found a shipwreck, guys. What the fuck? That's the entrance. I think. That's crazy. I hate that sound. Oh, there's another entrance over here. Cool. Any scanners in chat? Aha! We don't need scanners, but we do need the laser cutter. All right, pretty good. That's wrecked. That's true. It is wrecked. You're not wrong. You can open the other door. Yeah, I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll open this one first. Get a one in ten. How scared of the ocean are you? Like nine and a half. I don't know why that took so long to scan. Anything important PDA or no no blueprint or something we've already gotten nice yeah that's a dud right there that sucks Okay, nothing else here. We've already done this. Uh, I'm keeping a, uh, an eye on my O2. I have a hundred left, which is fine. Um, I'll go out real quick um, and get some O2. A little go gar. Okay, let's go back in. Check for this door. Um, all right, and I can't get in here. Can't get in there. PDA. And another data box with something, a Cyclops thermal reactor module. I don't know if that's important, but we did get that. Um, all right, we've been in all of these areas. Is that it? No, there has to be more. There has to be like a second area of compartments. Aha! Another door. Oh. Please. Um, a door in which I can move. Can I not open that door? 
expulsion cannon is not working. Okay. Uh, so chat, I can't open this door. No. Okay. All righty. Is that the entire shipwreck? I feel like that's small. Um, no, I, it doesn't seem to be the entire shipwreck. Looks like there's more. Average size. Sorry, it's, it's an average size uh, shipwreck. My bad. Um, Pulsion cannon stuff. This seems to be, like, not the stuff I want. Again, the whole piece. We already have a Cyclops. Uh, we don't need it. Um, that's to the outside again. All right, anything else down here? Power transmitter fragment? All right, that's new. I don't know what power transmitter is, but sure, I'll dig it. Um, anything helps. Anything helps. Yeah, so that's just titanium now, okay. And it transmits power. Thank you guys, thank you. I appreciate that. That's really helpful. Their floodlights. Um, in case we didn't get them already. Where's my Seamoth? There it is. All right. Um... I guess last but not least, uh, over here. No, can't go in there. That's not a thing. There's a Reaper nearby. But yeah, uh, I guess that's the only... That's the only thing here. Huh. All right. I guess let's go to the Cyclops. Damn. When's next Breath of the Wild? Uh, I'll do it like this. Here, here. Every time somebody asks um, when we're doing Breath of the Wild next, I'll add an hour onto when we're actually asking playing Breath of the Wild next. It's a, it's a new subathon. <laughs> it's a new type of subathon. Every time somebody asks, right? We're going to add one hour. There's nothing on, There's nothing wrong with Breath of the Wild. There's literally nothing wrong with asking for it either. Um, I just get asked so often. Ah, shit. Chat, we're not playing for the next 10 years. Fuck. The Aurora Rendezvous Point. No, I get it off. I get it asked uh, um, often, um, and it's like totally. Uh, I'm totally glad you guys like it. I just wanted to do a little, little fun bit, you know. Yeah, hey, Jack. If you didn't, uh, if you didn't give um, uh, Subnautica a shot, I don't think you guys would have liked it as much. Clara, thanks for the five gifties. Yeah, now you guys ask for, uh, what, you know, me to play Subnautica constantly. There you go, right? All I ask is you, uh, whatever game, whatever thing I'm playing, you give it a shot. If you don't like it, hey, there's no worries at all. You have no commitment to stay. Um, 
But, uh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's a Reaper. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you guys, uh, um, I'm glad you guys gave it a shot. Okay. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun. Should we go to the Aurora? I think we should go to the Aurora Rendezvous point now. Um, unless we've already been here, I think we might have been. Did we finish that store? No, I want to place more Subnautica. Uh, yeah, I've also asked a couple of different streamers. Uh, if this goes on for a lot longer for, for the subathon. But by the way, we're below four hours. Let's go. Finally. Maybe it can one day end. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm planning a bunch of content out for the subathon. So if it keeps going, you know, we got some sick things. Uh, and, and I say that being like, there's only like so much I can, like there, there's something is I can, there's some content pieces I can only do for the, um, subathon. Like there's some content pieces where it's like, it literally doesn't make sense to do it. Um, outside of the subathon, you know, that is not fun to look at. Um, so yeah, <laughs> like, oh, I can't tell you yet. I can't tell you, but I will say yes or no. Yes. That is, that is a subathon exclusive that I don't think I would have done outside of it. You know? Also, yesterday with Doug Doug, that was a lot of fun. I don't know if I would have been confident enough in the in the collab initially to, to even do that. The Aurora Rendezvous Point. Oh, I think we've been here before, chat. Yeah, I think we've been here before. Alpha Omega, thanks for the five. Oopsies. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Thanks for the five. Engine powering up. We gotta be stuck, chat. What the hell? How did we get stuck? I mean, that's what we're doing right now. We're, we're literally ramming it with the Seamoth. Oh my God. Oh my fucking God. What have I done? Oh my God. What have I done? Did you do this? That's a great question. 
This is a skill. It is an art. Okay, it's working. Seems to be working. I gotta get like full speed, you know? <laughs> uh, what have we done? <laughs> hey, uh, Suez Canal, uh, ring a bell, anyone? How the fuck? All right, here we go. Full speed ahead. I don't even know if that helped. C, straight down. Let's go! We did it! <laughs> we did it! What is, what is the, why is it giving me the, 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 the error? Immediately. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Chat, I don't think I don't think this was supposed to happen this way. <laughs> Alright, let me go to sleep real quick. You guys ever hear of the evergreen? What did you do? No, I did nothing. It's fine. We're all good. Let's just step out of the Cyclops real quick. Um, and here we go on land. <laughs> Look, guys, we did it. That's how you. That's how you land your Cyclops, right? <laughs> Perfect. All right. We'll leave her there. That's, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's how you park your car. <laughs> uh, wait, we've been here, chat. We've been to the Aurora Rendezvous point before. Yeah, don't forget to, don't forget to lock your car. Kirk, kirk. Pretty. Yeah, we've been here, right? Shift to run. Yeah, let me. Yeah, there we go. Water. Oh yeah, yeah, we should water. Oh, you know what? Sorry. Let me go. Uh, sorry, chat. Let me go get some water. Looks like we're a little bit thirsty, right? All right, we're good to go. 
<laughs> All right, well, we'll go back to the, uh, the Psychops real quick. Fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's why you lock your car. <laughs> I, I forgot to put it in park. That's my bad. All systems online. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens when you leave your your Cyclops in neutral. Jesus Christ. All right, I get it. Oh my god, you baby. How is it possible to have this much chaotic energy? It's not even chaotic energy. This is... I'm just like this. <laughs> okay. Well, we've been here already, right, chat? Like, we've been to this island. If I'm correct. Right? Yeah, I have. Is there a reason I need to be here any longer? Or, I don't think so. I have a portal here, yeah, already. I explored under the island, yeah, we had a portal. What do you think of? Okay. Well, yeah, because we've already been to the, the Degasi habitats over here. Hmm. A little lost on progression right now. I'll be real with you guys. We need more blueprints. Hear me out. What if we just go down? Oh, Degasi habitat. Wait, the new Degasi habitat, right? Oh, we've also been to the bubbles before, I think. Oh, hello, Warper. Uh, we already did Life Pod 2. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, Shane, if you want to give me a hint, that'd be sick. Hello, Warper. Do you have any depth module on, on your Cyclops? I do not, know. I hate these sounds. The fuck? Why did it get so much? Why did it just get dark? It doesn't make sense. The eclipses aren't that fast. A different biome. Gotcha. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, fuck that though. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, Degasi, is that where I'm supposed to... Is that where I'm supposed to go? I've already been to LifePod too. Are you going back to the first island? Oh, and then below that.
Even the life pot teaches shit out the module. I do not. Deep, dude. Deep, dude. I am scared when I travel like this. Cause I don't know. Oh, I get changed. Okay. Cyclops step. I actually don't need Cyclops step. I need like specifically brawn depth, I think, and some prawn blueprints. You know? We we're supposed to lift that pod too, but we searched pod two and it wasn't there. I've unlocked Prawn Depth 1, not Prawn Depth 2. And that's also an issue. Because I feel like we need Prawn Depth 2. And or Thermal stuff? Because, um... We haven't done Thermal stuff, and, um... I think I need that, you know? It would have gone away from the HUD if you searched it. It, it did, I put it back in. Because that's like my... Um, beacon. <laughs> you know? You, oh, sorry, sorry. It needs kyanite. Sorry. We unlocked depth two. It needs kyanite, which I have no idea what that is. So. Bonk. Uh, but yeah. It's not nighttime yet. It's going to be nighttime in five seconds. Can't tell you how to get into Kyanite? No, please don't. Ugh. I don't want to figure that out yet. I'm not tired enough yet to sleep? What was that? Why? Can I sleep now? No, it's just dark. Oh, this is probably an eclipse. Nice. Uh, should I look up a map now, or is that spoilers? I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of like progression-wise, because right now I'm like lost. No, don't look up a map. Okay. No, I also. I also know where I need to go story-wise. I just need upgrades. That's that's the that's the thing. It's like I know where I need to go. I need to go down. <laughs> like life pod to the lost river whatever and like down that's where i need to go um but i can't because i don't have um you know i don't have the upgrades and so i'm trying to find the upgrades right now um the reason why it says life pod 2 by the way is because um that's my little beacon i've already done life pod 2 and it disappeared life pod 2 disappeared from my map you know? Um, so I've like did life pod too. I mean, we can like search around there more, but I don't know. Ah, uh, okay. So this is the island that we were at. And there's warpers here. 
I've also gotten life pod 13, chat. I, we just did it. I mean, we can go down here. Like, next to the alien facility? This is where we find the Cyclops stuff. Yeah, like that's a Cyclops engine. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Ah, oh, this goes deep. Oh shit, fuck, shit. Sorry, that was my hole. I am quiet because I am scared. I don't see much here. A lot of sharky guys, too. Hello. And thermal stuff. There's something over there. Oh, this is the island, isn't it? Wait, no, this is still... modules they're looking for i'm i don't know yet actually i don't know exactly what i'm looking for either whoopsies yeah look at these islands whoopsies 
Man. Um, I'm just trying to discover any modules, you know? Faster looking to see moth? Nope. No, thank you. All right, Seamoth does have sonar. Oh, fuck. Engine powering down. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> nope, nothing here back to the Cyclops. Yeah, exactly, right? You know? I mean, there's this over here. Hey, guys, I think I found something. You guys are friendly, right? Come on. Friendlies! Yeah, there's this right here. Yeah, they just, uh, just want to say hi, right? Alright, let's, uh, let's go explore this. Here we go. All systems online. I forgot to top my engine. Fuck, shit. Fuck! That's- okay. <laughs> I just- I just <laughs> repaired my it's Seamoth. And then- <laughs> Alright, that makes- yeah, alright. Hey, hey, it happens, alright? Happens to the best of us! New paint job for the Cyclops coming in? Stop. Let me let me let me run my Seamoth in peace. Yeah, dick. Yeah, Cyclops engines, right? Yeah. Oh, cool. Um Stupid assholes, dude. That's fine. Wow, this kid this place gives a lot. Stop! I like my sea moth. Oh my gosh. Fuck off. Oh, 
told you. Yeah, you're right. That was food. I want. Are you still ramming my Seamoth? All right. Yeah, so this is a bunch of stuff that I don't need so far. So hopefully we can find some blueprint stuff in this large capsule. You know, today's sub to point growth Thursday. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, chat. Happy holidays. Sub to point growth Thursday. Okay. Prawn suit. Stuff. This is right full. Yeah, this is all old stuff. I know. Happy holidays. And so far, this is all old stuff. Yeah, so I guess if you wanted, like, the prawn suit, you could just come here. Or you could just also just go to the Aurora. You have those arms already? Oh. Uh, oh, wait. No, oh, wait, wait. They're prawn suit arms? No, I don't. Propulsion arms. All right, now I have them. <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah, if it gives me the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice, we got a new thing. Sick. A okay, hundred left on my oxygen. Come on, I'm inside. here and I can't go oh seal door cut to access okay so let me go get some oxygen and we'll cut that open can you build your base inside a wreck I don't think you can I don't think the wrecks have enough space for you to do that Noise. Noise. You can, it just deletes the wreck. Oh, really? I didn't know that. All right, sick. Do you even sleep? I do sleep, yes. I would be actually awful if I did not sleep. Oh my god, imagine a subathon without sleeping. That that sounds actually awful. That sounds I, I, that's like TOS actually, I'm pretty sure. Like that would be TOS. I think you just die. After 72 hours, you just like heal over. You know? As long as someone's gone without sleep is 11 days. All right, well, looks like we have a, <laughs> looks like we have a challenge. Prawn suit fragment, oh, we already have all these. Yeah, this prawn suit fragment. Nice. Blueprints. Please be something good that we need. Shoot. I hate when that happens. That's like the worst feeling. We're like, yes, finally a day fragment. And then it just not. Oh.
right. Well, I'm going to do something like this. Where R... No, wait. WM safety instructions appendix A14. Don't climb on or get off the equipment while it's moving. Swim charge fins. Okay. Blueprint acquired. Swim charge fins. Okay. Um, I can move this and go down. Yeah, let me move this and go down. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Alien containment. I will watch it too, don't worry. Can I get out through there? Yeah. Thirty seconds. Easy, dude. Easy. He times it so well. Look at that threading the needle. All right. Um, and we went here, and then we went over here. And then we went down. Looks like this is the stuff we need. Flash we want. Our cell charger, we already have that. Propulsion arm. All right, we we got this? Yeah. All right, sick. Not, oh, oh. Nice. <laughs> Almost missed that. Hello? Hello? Let's get stuck on the... On this, please. Alright, then let's go this far. Okay. Oh! Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh shit, the Seamoth is almost dead. They box out the sword outside the door. Yeah, I saw it, but I was concerned about the Seamoth. <laughs> Thanks though, I appreciate it. Okay. Let's try again down here. Okay. Nice. All right. So now let's go back, which was this way. I'm running low on power for everything. We got to do a recharge session. Where was it again? Right here, wasn't it? Oh, shit. Did I miss the... Oh, oh, I might have missed it, actually. Oh, I think, I think you guys were right. I think I did miss it.
Hey, what's up, Crispy? Ah, over here. Please be something good. I think we already have this, though. Creature decoy. Okay. We got decoy torpedoes, looks like. So, kind of good. Oh, we're still going? Yeah, we've been going for 96 hours. Almost 100 hours. Ah, uh, this is new. This is not new. Have we discovered all of this, you think? Yeah, we might have. I think we might have. Yeah. Have you slept? Yeah, I've slept. Oh, I've slept on stream. Like more of the outside, yeah. Prawn suit drill arm. You asshole! Jesus! <laughs> I mean, while you're there, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, wow. Cool wreck. All right, now did we find everything? I think we might have. Oh, there's a Cyclops. I was wondering or what. I think we got everything then. Um, has he gotten the Cyclops yet? No, I haven't. Um, I got the drill arm chat. Oh, you need one more. Oh, I thought I got, oh, oh, okay. Sorry. I thought, I thought it was both. Sorry. And there should be a second one. Oh, what the fuck? Yo. That's kind of cool, though. This is kind of cool, though. I mean, nothing important in here, but this is like the center of the... A lot of rubies. Rubies are easy to come by, dude. I thought they were rare. All right, any arms? I think I have, do I have an extra? No, I have power cells, I don't have batteries. Thought I did. Oh, and we have the alien containment thing, so we can hatch eggs now. Woo! Oh, my lord. Easy. Okay. Almost 16k subs. Crazy, dude. Crazy. That's nutty. All right, so the drill arm is something we need. If you guys see it, let me know. I do not yet. Of 
Quanta, thanks for the six. Oh, which brings us to 16,000 subs. Thank you for that. We got one or two drill arms. Is there another over here? Yeah, you were here, chat. You were here. Hey, while you're here, uh, hey, 16K subs, that's a lot. Means uh, I just want to give a huge props, huge claps for it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You have been using your Twitch Primes. Thank you for using your Twitch Prime. If you don't know what Twitch Prime is, or Prime Gaming, right? Really easy to uh, conceptualize, really easy to understand. All you need to do is connect your Amazon account to your Twitch account. Uh, and you can get a free subscription, a free sub to the channel, and uh, not only increase my counter, my timer, but you can also get ad-free viewing and all the emotes like Picro Bongo that uh, my chat is currently using right now. Um, so if you if you're interested in that, I would implore you use your Twitch Prime. Um, it's just subscribe and then scroll all the way down to subscribe with Prime. Pretty simple, flawless, and easy. For example, Power Richard, thanks for the Prime. Top Hat Phantom, thanks for the Prime as well. Here, let me show you. If you're on desktop, it's super easy. Um, let me go right over. Pause, pause champ, pause champ. Yeah, here we go, right? You go to resubscribe or subscribe. You scroll all the way down, and it's right, should be right here. Right, Prime subscription available. Mine's on the 22nd. Um, so, uh, at least write down the uh, uh, the date so you know when your Prime is available. Jet Ninja, thanks for the Prime Gaming as well. Thank you. Uh, Zachla, with the Prime and Flood, uh, Floodwing, thanks for the Prime too. Yeah, it's, it's super easy. Uh, that's all you need to do um, while I'm searching for this arm fragment, which doesn't seem to exist. Um... I guess. Um, sorry. Um, but yeah, um, super easy. You get ad free viewing, emotes, badge by your name, uh, and you can start your streak. Uh, just like some other people in chat, you know? Dad, did you guys see it? That on the ladder? Wait, did you see it? Where's the, where's the fragment? Uh, Mojo Jojo, thanks for the prime, uh, meet me. Thanks for the prime as well. Thanks, guys. 30 seconds. Didn't see it? Okay. All systems online. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's go deeper. Or another wreck. Engine powering up. Maybe there's uh, more wrecks this way. Or is that too close to the surface? Yeah, I can't tell if these are too close to the surface, but it might be. Yeah. I guess we go this way. Or 
I see stray fragments. Yeah, but it's easier to see, like, big things, you know? Like, big... Uh, like, like this stuff. Like, the islands over here. That's, that's important. We need to find, um... Like, these bone shards suck, but, like, we need to find more, like, big, uh, big islands. Like, with more wrecks. Uh, and hopefully we can get more stuff. There we go. Be this way. It could be deeper too. Tidesy, thanks for the five. Thank you. you. Guys have been rolling high today. Be on this one. All right, so that's like a warning of what like things are near. Is that blood? No, that's just a vent. All right, Marlo, thanks for the 10. <laughs> that, that checks out. Marlo forever unlucky. Okay, this seems to be the deepest island too i mean there's the big one over here with the wreck wabu thanks for the 10 that wow yikes what's what's percent 48 deeper harp thanks for the gifty thanks for the subs guys appreciate it I see you guys are liking your rolls. Rising Hope, thanks for the five. Oh my god. Oh, the bad luck streaks, dude. That's the wreck right there. Is there maybe more down here? I don't think there's more down, right? I guess it seems it's it's like pretty barren down here. Seek fluid intake. Engine powering down. You know? Um here. Oh, whoopsies. Vital signs stabilizing. That's four. I need six. Nice. Okay. I'm trying to figure out. Let me plant all these first. Actually, that's fine. Um, Ranch. We're trying to find more stuff. I know my batteries are low on like everything too, but I think that's like kind of okay, you know? Unless there's actually nothing here and I'm wasting my time. Lazos Gaming, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Appreciate that, guys. Hmm. 
You get generally rewarded for going deeper in this game? Yes. But it seems like in this particular biome, we don't. Bandit, thanks for the five gifted as well. There may be like, uh, I hate, I hate those ambient sounds. Yeah, so many gifts. Decent roll, no problem, bro. Yeah, I, pre I really do appreciate it. It's kind of crazy. What the hell? Oh shit. Wabu, thanks for the ten. Thank you. Any racks nearby? Oh, shit. That was a bit better. Uh, that was above average. Or, I think so. Um, that was about average. Alright, that's a different biome. Yeah, there's blood kelp right there, which we could go to. Josh, should we go to the blood kelp or continue to try to explore these islands? Might be good checking out a life pod. There's no life pods we can check. This, uh, I mean, we can do the Degasi habitat, I guess. I would go back to the wreck you found at the start by the doggos. The doggos? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean doggos chain? Yes, yeah, Chancellor, uh, chat for opinion. Why is your answers deleted? There's a guy in chat saying, spoil the game, spoil the game. Please spoil the game. Uh, and I'm also just like, not exactly asking. Um, it's like very obvious. I'm like, all right, chat. Can you please answer this? Oh, the treaders. Are the doggers the treaders? Yeah, the treaders path. All right, yeah. All right, let's go back to the treaders path, I guess. Sorry, I'm in a meeting. <laughs> no, thank. No, I appreciate you taking your uh, um, uh, time out from your meeting to uh, um, help out with my Subnautica playthrough. <laughs> Yeah, it's a ghosty. Hello, ghosty. Hello, ghosty. Goodbye, ghosty. Oh, it is nighttime, that's why. That's called a ghost reaper. <laughs> that's that's a ghost reaper, and those things are scary. We don't like ghost ghost. Sorry, ghost not not ghost reaper. Ghost leviathan. Goodbye, ghosty. We'll miss you. We'll miss you, ghosty.
go back over here. Dive a little so we don't get the reef leviathans on our asses. And we go home. Sort of. We sort of go home. Um. Oh, whoopsies. Sorry. Sorry, reef leviathans. I'm sorry. Alright, so now we go this way to the treader's path. All right, so there's a reaper that way. So we gotta be wary of that. We should be okay. I mean, I am low on batteries, but I'll probably find. Oh wait, this is not where I wanted to go. Um. Oh, we're not we're not close actually. Sorry, 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 sorry. Now we gotta go. We should probably yeah we should probably head home, go back up, and uh and like recharge all our stuff. That's probably the smart idea. All right, sick. Nice. All right. Dude, <laughs> this is a ridiculously fun game, dude. Right now, Crow, what's the point of the stream today? What's your main goal? Just to have fun. Just to have fun today. That's the main goal. Um, we're going to do some just general things. Like, I got to make a thumbnail today. I got to work out today. I got to um, maybe write a script today. Um, fun's the number one priority, though. Um, yeah, I'll probably do rowing. Tease. The almost four hours. Jesus. Wait, actually, no. Wait, I think the timer's... I think the duration timer is actually technically a little wrong. It should be uh, four days and 30 minutes right now. Or four days and 20 minutes. I think it's off by uh, an hour. Why did it stop? What the hell? Gasp! Oh, that's why. All right, here we go. And I'll just like, I'll just land it right here. Engine off. We still have 45%, which is a ton. Here we go. Ring fit? No, 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 no. Um, I'll just do rowing. And I'm like, Uh, and then let's uh, bring... No, we don't need to bring our Seamoth, do we? I don't think we do. Yeah, we're probably fine. Degassi? More like Degussi? I swear to fucking God. Every every day, we stray s just farther from, from the light. Every day. Alright. Uh, battery charger... Take that, and then I want one or two. You get new battery. Okay, cool. Um, and then you also get new battery. You also get new battery. Battery chargers. You should also get new battery. One, two, three. No, whoops, sorry. One, two, three. Yeah, so four, you should also get new battery. Are you winning, son? I am. I am. 
All right, so we're going to charge all of those. Then we're also going to charge um, these power cells. Sick. It's going to drain a lot of battery. Oh. oh, God. Okay. Um, What else? How many hours have you been going on for now? I mean, duration, it tells you. Do it like that, and then we'll just load up with everything we don't need. Uh, we haven't crafted in a while. That's probably why our inventory is so full. Um, what do we need to do again? What do we need to do? I think it's just... I think we just need to charge stuff. That's, that's really it. Oh, alien container. Right, 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 right. Four right here. So what do we need for the alien containment unit? Um, which is what we just got. Uh, we just got the alien containment unit, which is right here. We need five glass, which is 10, um, 10 quartz. How much quartz do we have? We have, all right, so we need eight quartz. Uh, and let me grab this for you. Okay. So we need eight quarts. Uh, oh, we can build the propulsion arm and stuff that you guys wanted me to build. That you, that you guys say is, like, super, super nice to build. See that Brian Sao liked your comment? Yeah, he DM'd me on Instagram as well. Uh, so we'll, we'll see about uh, bringing him on for a stream. For fun. Easy quartz. I like how I like I think it's like super awesome character development. That's three. We need five more. I think it's super awesome character development that I have um <laughs> become so much like significantly less scared of the ocean now. At least in the game. So now we're like literally we're just like, oh I need to go into a cave. Yeah, sure. Easy dude. I'll just go into a cave. Like that's so cool, right? How many do we get? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need one more. At the start, you couldn't leave for five minutes. I was terrified, dude. Terrified. But now I'm better. I found better things to be afraid of. Yeah, I guess you could, if you put it like that, you know. Um, I might take a small break for um, lunch because I'm getting a little hungry. Um, so that might be uh, a thing I'm going to do in a second. But uh, let's make some glass. Five glass, please. Lunch. I mean, it's 2.30 for me, so it's a little late for lunch. But, you know. I think I've, like, slowly shifted throughout the... Um, uh, I think we've slowly shifted throughout the uh, su uh, subathon a little bit less and less, you know? Um, uh, a little bit like. Ah, whatever. Alright, anyways. Um, let's make the alien containment unit. Uh, should I put it on the second floor or the third? What do you guys think? Second? Okay. Oh, 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 it is large. Oh, wow. All Aquariums provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. Okay, that's creepy. You don't have to say it like that. <laughs> Why'd you have to say it like that? Why did you have to say it like that? Why? You didn't need to. Um, shape. I, I mean, we got a couple creature eggs. Let's put them then.
Um, sick. So how do I... Oh, do I have to go up? How do I... How do I do it, chat? How do I put an egg in here? A hatch? A hatch? I need one more quartz. <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> God damn it, dude. And one titanium as well, which we have a fuck ton of. Okay. Yeah, hatch. Like, hatch an egg, right? Ah, damn it. There we go. Alright, well, I feel like we've made some significant progress here. You know? I feel like we have. Um, okay, now let's go here, and then we make a hatch. I need two titanium, not one, because I'm a scrub. Um, okay. Nice. Okay, so hatch. I'll put it on the side here. Oh, I should lower the power. Uh, I shouldn't be scanning and, and charging my power cells and my batteries all at the same time. That might be a little much. That might be a little much. Oh, they're uh, mostly full. Nice. There we go. All right. So hatch right here. So then what I do is I drop the egg. How many eggs can I drop in here? I have two so far. What the hell is this? Hello? That's kind of cute. Okay, um, we have some more. Like, uh, like this egg. Like that egg. Yeah, I think those are the eggs we have. Yeah. All right, let's put those eggs in there, too. Will they kill each other, chat? No? Okay. That's a big, that's a big egg. Okay, and then a oh, raising captivity means they're docile. Okay. I'm going to be a parent. Uh, we already have that egg. All right, we've already used those eggs. Okay, um, so that's alien containment units. Oh, I need to go back. And then let me sleep. Cool. Finally, I can see you not asleep. Yeah, welcome in. I am, in fact, awake right now. And I will be awake for the next eight hours, nine hours, ten hours probably. Uh, maybe not that long. Uh, 
Um, sick. Sick! Alright. Now let's take the power cells out. We have 100% charge on all of them. We have four batteries. Oh my god, it's too good. We're, we're simply too good. All right, um, what else do we need powered? Our flashlight. I think it was our flashlight. And then we had an extra battery just in case. Okay. Um, sick. Uh, let's go back here. Have, has has anything happened yet? Oh, they're moving. What would you do if you were actually in Subnautica? I would die. Uh, th there would be no progress made. This wouldn't happen. I would suffer. sick um we have three power cells we have uh a backup one and then one that's at 30 percent which is fine um yeah we have enough power cells yeah we're good we're good chat we're we're way we're like way overstocked with power cells like it actually to a disgusting amount we have too many um and then yeah i probably wouldn't go out of the life pod i'd probably just die in the life pod all right, so we have three extra power cells uh, and an extra battery in case we need it. We have some food stuff, some uh, water stuffs, um, a lot of minerals here. Oh, yeah, we're set. All right, so let's go to the sea treaders. Uh, we can just head out right now, I think. Yeah, but yeah, personally, I wouldn't step foot outside the life pod. 67%. I lied. Actually, there are two sides. <laughs> there are two sides for the power cells, right? That is correct. Aha. Uh -huh. Yo, is that simply? Simply, simply, simply. How's it going? How's it hanging? How it be? The gotchi, dude. I'm telling you, the Craigasm, it's beautiful. How's it going? It's a STEM raid. I don't have, I don't, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have STEM head in, uh, in my chat. I know, I apologize. On behalf of all Simply, uh, Simply viewers, I do not have STEM head, uh, and I feel like I've done you guys wrong. I mean, you can still STEM head. You can still STEM head, but we just don't have the emote. <laughs> what was he up to? Uh, he was doing. 120 star i'm assuming hey, i'm a i'm a simply viewer all right i know where you guys come from i understand you guys right i know how you tick <laughs> he's doing the stem head challenge and you know what that's a goddamn beautiful thing uh let's see we have those in sick we should have 100 percent um if you are not following simply lies ah uh, really um if you are not following simply go, come on go do it he's a good speedrunner. he's a great guy i met him uh at the stream rewards and he's like the nicest dude <laughs> uh like literally it's like the only reason i want to go to texas is like because simply's there oh and then also maya um but yeah he's crazy he's awesome i'm doing a subathon by the way i haven't shaved in five days and this is sad um <laughs> that's the only way to put it but yeah as you can see right here uh, i'm doing a subathon i've been live for almost 100 hours straight um and uh this is my timer and if you sub this was made from auto if you sub it gives a random amount of time uh to uh the timer uh anywhere from zero to 60 seconds per sub um so yeah i'm also playing um subnautica uh and i'm I'm very scared of the ocean. <laughs> I'm very scared. Um, and we might take like a break in like 30 to an hour uh, to go make some lunch. 
Yo, simply Vixel the five. All right, that was a pretty okay roll. <laughs> I was slightly below average, but cool. Mad props, thanks simply. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, there's also like legendary rolls that you can like, dude. It's literally like a gotcha game. I'm telling you, like we we've gamified the sub uh, subathon system. Where you have a 1 out of 420 chance to get a legendary plus 5 minute per sub. Or. <laughs> or. You can get screwed over with a 1 in 1000 chance to roll a negative 1 minute. <laughs> so yeah. Fun, right? <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go down here. I don't know if you guys have played some Nautica before. Uh, any simply viewers. But it is terrifying you ever like the deep ocean well i don't um and we're about to go deep so i hope you guys enjoy well actually never mind we're going to uh seek fluid intake first from our little farm nice <laughs> um here we go but yeah we've been uh what the fuck was that um, yeah, we've been doing some fun stuff. We played deal or no deal. I mean, <clears throat> yes or no yes. Um, where I gave you guys some, uh, um, uh, the ability to, um, uh, it's yes or no yes. Not, sorry, that's, we got to make it, you know. Um, where you guys had the ability to earn subs, uh, in time for the, um, for the timer. Um, without actually having to use your primes. And uh, you guys sucked at it. I'll be real with you guys. I, I, I've never seen anybody play yes or no yes worse than my own chat. So, congrats on that. You you did it. <laughs> we did great. You could have earned 2,000 subs. You guys did 20. You ended up with 20. Your envelope had 20 subs. And you were so confident. All right, don't blubbers me. All right, you're. It's, all right, I'm not. I'm not telling you that you. Ugh. Don't make me feel bad for you. All right, deep ocean. We're going deep, and that's a warper. Those things are literally bred hunter killers. That's fine. He doesn't see me, right? Hey, we got a lot more in round two. You did get 100 subs in round two, but it's also not 2,000, so, you know. All right, I am scared, Twitch chatters. Very, very scared. Oh, fuck. Do we go down? Oh, shit. Do we go down here? The Sea Treaders pass right here, but... I think. Oh, I'm so... F oh, dude, 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 dude. Fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck! What was that? Oh, I found one of these wrecks. I know that. I remember finding one of them. Oh, why does it go down? Alright guys. Oh god. Oh Jesus.
Oh, those are sea treaders. Oh, thank God. Those are sea treaders. We're on the sea treader path. All right. Dude, dude, I'm I'm screaming. This is actually terrifying. All systems online. Oh, I know where we are. Do we follow the, the sea treader path or we go southwest more? Oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck. What is that? What is that? What is that? There's a, there's a, there's a bat. Oh shit! Oh, stop, stop. Is Mesmer Egg discovered? I'm lost now. I didn't honk the horn, I promise. Okay, I've been to this wreck before. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can see it's been opened.
engine powering down. Okay. Red Fire Fox is into the five. Alrighty. Let's 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 fix this bad boy up. Lucas, thanks for the 10 gifted. Thank you. Very kind of you. I think we're fine. But yeah, I've been here before. Okay. Welcome aboard. You missed one? All systems online. On the tail. Oh, up here. Thank you. Thanks, chat. Um, alrighty, though. What happened to it? Oh, we don't talk about what happened to it. It just, it just, uh, I got it. Like, I found it like this, you know? There's just stuff still in the wreck. No, if I recall, that's, you know, northeast from here, outside the cup force. Engine. Powering up. Northeast from here. Hey, there's the warper. I knew there was one here. All right. On the outside of the kelp forest. Right, because the sea treasure's path goes through here, doesn't it? Aren't there reapers here? Looking for floating blue, blo blue balls. I don't think it's super deep. Okay. This is the blood kelp forest. What if I go down? Pretty sure the blue balls are down here. Yeah, blue balls. Shirts. Um, right near the kelp. There's no kelp here. <laughs> this ecological biome matches seven of the nine preconditions for stimulating terror in humans. Under the sea, down where it's wetter. Nice, let's go. He knows how to drive his, uh, his Cyclops. Oh, baby. Yeah. Murder. All those fish.
All right, so more towards spawn. This way. We might go to the Degasi habitat. the wreck I mean this is a wreck oh we've been here before okay I think we do the gossy chat uh, but let me go to the bathroom first um, oh, let me go to the bathroom first, and let's check on our uh, fish that have probably hatched. So, give me a second. I'll be right back. I'll just, I'll leave you guys with the ambiance. One sec.
Chat, why are you panicking? Oh, my fluid intake? Oh, good thing I have some water right here. Silex, thanks for the five gifted subs. Keeping it above uh, three hours. Oh, well, I guess we'll die. I guess we'll die, chat. It happens. Oh my god, Faradar, thanks for the 20 gifted subs. Thank you for that. It's very kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god. I appreciate that a lot. actually insane Vital signs stabilizing. nice is that good can we stop panicking now oh, I oh, too many no oh, we're good all right sick um all right awesome well um, I am a little hungry, so I'm gonna eat a little snack here. Um, and then, but like, let's first let's first check on the eggs. Fishies. Oh, gross! I hate these things. Oh, gross. Oh, what is that? Hello. What are you? And we have another shark thing. I don't know what this thing is, though. Hi. Cuttlefish. Um, I already have bone shark. A sand shark. I actually haven't scanned yet. Small sand shark, and then what are you? A mesmer? The fuck is a mesmer? Um, it is indigenous fauna. Herbivore is large, a cuttlefish. Uh, displays the levels of intelligence, curiosity, and attachment. Has not been encountered in the wild and can scan, can be artificially hatched within a containment union. Um, um, uh, wild species can alter behavior, um, highly social behavior, and interspecies interactions. Uh, observed in earth dolphins. Oh, this is like dolphins. Uh, they can follow and understand simple commands. Emotional connection between living creatures is an essential component for psychological health. Nice. Friend. 
All right, I uh, we're gonna watch like a video or so real quick while I eat because I am hungry.